So what about alcohol intake and intermittent fasting? I often see this question, so here's my current take on it. I usually pack all my food into three to four hour time frame um, around late noon, while the rest of 20 to 21 hours is when I consume mostly water and black coffee. As for alcohol intake, I've experimented with all sorts of protocols and frequencies. So I could say that I'm, or that I've been consistent with being inconsistent. As of March 2017, my booze of choice is red wine. I like its taste. How much? About one to two glasses at a time. Or per serving, or to be more precise, 250 to 350 milliliters. I guess that's between 8 to 12 ounces. How frequent? About once or twice a week. There have been times in the past when I drank more frequently, like three to five times a week and hadn't experienced negative effects such as that they would impair my physique goals. As long as I would have my drinks at least four to five hours after my last meal. But I would say the negative effects were in terms of poor sleep. And you know what's paradoxical about it? When I drink, I sleep less and wake up energized. I tend to lift quite well in the gym after having my one to two glasses of wine the night before. I suspect the higher energy comes from increased NADH as a result of ethanol metabolism. And I might do a biochem video about it. Now, I seem to tolerate well this amount of wine, such as that I don't get headaches or hungover or stuff like that. But the caveat is that the days when I drink are calorically restricted and I have my drinks at least four to five hours after my last meal. So I'm kind of repeating myself. On another note, one of the reasons I've currently reduced the frequency of my drinking is because I'd rather sleep solid and deep for seven to eight hours and wake up with a clean state or rested mind, so to speak, instead of having a superficial sleep of five to six hours. Now, in the past, I also used to consume harder liquors and other types of alcohols, but it seems like um, uh, red wine stuck with me, so is my currently favorite choice. Now, a few quick questions and notes. Should you consider or track calories from alcohol? Well, I'd say yes. Should you reduce daily caloric intake if you're having drinks at night? I'd also say yes if you want to minimize potential negative physique impacts and maximize the effects from alcohol with lower intakes, so optimize for the dose. But I wouldn't bother too much about it though. Relax, enjoy yourself. However, if you drink on an emptier stomach, chances are you'll feel the effects from alcohol faster. So you might not drink as much, which makes it kind of a fail-safe approach. Another thing, if you are on a carbohydrate reduced or restricted diet, you may want to limit your selection to harder alcohols and dry wine. And stay away from sugary cocktails uh, if you don't want to deviate too much from your protocol. I'd also stay away from diet sodas, but I don't know, don't take this for granted. You can, and like I said, you should allow some indulgences from time to time frequency or um, better said infrequency is more important than the details of your indulgence so anyway what about you what's your alcohol of choice and how do you have it how often do you drink what are your uh, what are some of your thoughts and observations about this do you also get legit after booze pumps like me let me know in the comments below. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.